Welcome to the York County History Center's Fire Museum. Today, we're going to talk about the Gamwell system. Originally, prior to 1844, you did not have an instant way of communication. So if a fire would be reported, you'd have to go to the nearest church, ring the bell to bring people in to help put out the fire. This got alleviated by the invention of the uh, telegraph system by Samuel F. B. Morse, 1844. Dr. William Channing took it one step farther and published an article in 1844 that basically outlined a way to build a fire alarm system. This was put in place in the city of Boston, 1851. By 1883, other cities started to do this. As a matter of fact, York became the first city in the county to install a system. Later, in 1914, it got upgraded. So today, on display, we have parts of the original system. This board was installed in this city, 1914, and it operated all the boxes throughout the city. At one point, the city did have over 197 boxes. This unit was in service until 1946 when it got renovated and continued on until about 1950s when it got replaced by a different system. With that being said, I'm going to demonstrate how the Gamwell system operates. I do stress only do this in a museum setting. Do not set the boxes off in the city because that will cause false alarms. I will activate a box. You will see this tape register the box uh, code. It'll repeat four times. Also, at the same time, the 1914 repeater will also be going off. That unit relayed the box call to all the fire companies in the city of York. At the end of that, I will explain what it punched out, and from there you'll see what goes on. With that being said, I will set off the box by pulling down and then activating. And then over there, you will see it going through its motions. If you were on duty and you heard the alarm going off, you would immediately come over and look at the tape and see what it was producing. In this example, it did a triangle one with a space, four triangles, and it repeated itself four times. What that represented was the box that was activated. If that box would have been in the city, it would be going to this area. This card shows that box 14 would have been located at Newberry Street and Gay Avenue. And then these are the engines and equipment that are available to back up. So the first response would go out. If it's a fire, they would fight the fire. If they need additional help, they could be called in to help. If it's a false alarm, they would have to determine why it was a false alarm, get it corrected, reset the box, and then go back to the station. At the end, they would have to go and log in the call. This was actually from the call center, and here we have a book showing the calls, dates, and times they went in. At the end of the quarter, end of the year, they could look at and determine how many calls they had that were actual calls, how many were false alarms, and how they could reposition the men and or equipment as necessary. Again, this is the game world system, and in the cities across the country and the world, they're still in place. 
However, later they also got replaced with more electronic control. For example, in our building, we have an alarm system that if a fire would be reported, it would automatically set off and send the notice to the companies. I hope you've enjoyed our little pop-up tour at the Fire Museum. If you're interested in more information, feel free to check out our Facebook page and or our web page for additional information of upcoming events and information. And thank you for your time.